Hello and welcome to the Exploratory. I'm Manakshi, Developer Advocate at Postman, and together we are going to explore the Postman Public API network and, in particular, look at the public workspaces feature. So let's get started. And what do we see here? We see a lot of workspaces that are loved by the Postman staff, uh, the Postman API hack winners, some trending workspaces and collections. Microsoft Graph has 5K plus folks, 10 plus watchers, 20K plus views. And there are feature teams in the network. So there's Chappy, Twilio, Postman, of course. And uh, let's dive into the Dolby theme. And this pretty looking cover picture makes the page really attractive. Apart from that, there is some description or links and details of the members who are maintaining the workspace and the team collections. Let's have a look at their public workspace. So this is essentially what a public workspace is. It has collections, it has APIs, an environment, mock servers or monitors if you'd like to share. And some documentation about how to get started with the Dolby APIs, members who are part of the workspace. And this is one of the most important things for me as a consumer. It's the activity feed, which makes me feel that this workspace is being actively maintained. So anything that I'm going to pick up from here, anything that I fork or watch should be the latest active thing that's being worked upon. Let's check out one of the APIs. It says version 1.1 and it's an open API 3 YAML format schema which has a validated schema and there are two watchers watching right now. Essentially what watch does is it will notify us if there are updates to the specific version of the API. And that's the number we saw on the Microsoft Graph API in collection. You could also watch a collection, which I'm already watching. And in addition, you could fork a collection as well. What forking does, as it says right here, is creates a copy of the collection, but with a reference to the original. So we'll be able to merge and pull changes whenever there are any changes. And we can create that fork in our own workspace if we like. Speaking of merging and pulling changes, this is a section which lists pull requests. So this is actually a pull request from somebody in the community named Nina, which is pretty similar to my name, but it's approved. So I'm actually an official contributor to the Dolby.io public workspace collection. Now that we've seen the entire workspace and understood what a workspace should look like, let's go ahead and create one of our own. So I'm going to create a workspace for Zomato APIs. And Zomato is the food ordering and restaurant search app that I use. I'll set the visibility to team as of now. And the workspace is created and it's empty. So let's fill it up by adding an API. I have the open API for the Zomato APIs, which is what I'm going to import. And if I tick this, it says it would generate a collection from the APIs as a documentation. So just import. and the API is here. We would want to add some summary and description so that users understand what the API is about, how to use it. This is the API that got imported and there's also a check which validates the schema that's 
the API. And let's head over to the collection. So the collection also has some documentation that was generated from the open API, which is pretty good because now my workspace is ready and I'm ready to take it public. So I'm just going to toggle it on and save changes. Let's look at our team page and how the workspace looks right there. So compared to Dolby, this is really empty. It has nothing basically. Uh, and we definitely want to spruce it up a bit. So I'm going over to team settings where you could add a cover picture, a logo, change the URL even. Add details about the team, Twitter handle, GitHub. One other step uh, that's right here is to use categories to help people find the workspace. So we should be able to edit this particular listing, add some categories to it. And a good idea would also be to add some summaries so that it's easier to search for a collection in the Postman Universal search. So now we have created a workspace, we've seen a workspace and I want to leave you with some tips about how to increase the public workspace engagement. So this is the documentation for the Salesforce APIs which actually have a public workspace and their APIs on the Postman network. They've managed to get a lot of folks, which we think is probably because there are very clear instructions in the documentation about how to use the workspace. And there is a blog post video. Apart from this, Zoho has actually sent its developers newsletters about how to use the workspace and create a fork. What you could do though, if you want the fork to be easily created, by the developers is head over to share a collection and copy this code. I will show you in a bit what this does. So I'm going to embed it in this markdown documentation that there is and you might want to embed it in other documentation that you have. Okay, let's go back. Okay, copy the markdown friendly code. And click save. It has the run and postman button and when I click on it, it redirects me to fork the collection. So that's one step less in the journey to fork a collection. And that's what I want to leave you with. So create the public workspaces. Tell us how it's going for you and reach out to us for any feedback about the public workspace features, any engagement, collaboration. Thank you.